Plus, it's way more fun on a bike, right? See that thing behind me? I have to go up there. Okay, this is weird. All right, let's do this. So this is gonna be really cool. I just don't know what's going on here. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Thank you for subscribing and watching my videos. It means a lot to me. I hope you're excited about this adventure because I am. I am so excited for it. I just got here. I just unpacked everything and packed everything. Unpacked and repacked. Uh, got my e-bike all set up and ready to go. It says I have about a mile and a half bike ride down this road this way or this trail. It is super bumpy, super rocky, so I'm not gonna be taking my car, of course. Um, plus, it's way more fun on a bike. Right? So I'm gonna be doing that. It's a beautiful day to get outside and see this beautiful desert I'm in. I'm just so glad you're with me right now. And we can share in this adventure together because this is a new place for me. I found it on Google Earth, like like always. And it's on top of this little hill. Looks like a little fortress, I don't know. Looks like it's a man-made type of a symbol or structure or something, whatever it is. I'm just ready to go explore. So let's do it. Oh yeah. And don't you worry, I've already checked in with loved ones and made sure to tell them that I am off wandering the desert all alone. So uh, now they know it's time to be scared. Just kidding. Uh, they know that I'm out here and so if anything happens to me, they know where all my stuff is so they can come have some cool backpacking gear and a cool bike. Just kidding, always be prepared, right? I'm, I'm very prepared, no big deal. This is gonna be a fun one. Ooh, so sharp. That was the stupidest trail I've ever done. It's almost like they got rocks and they just dumped them all here. It was just so, oh my gosh. I mean, my Impala could probably do that, but on a bike, it's just not that fun. I have to go back up that. <laughs> See that thing behind me? I have to go up there. I mean, my e-bike doesn't have the, the strength, the power to do that. So I'm just going to walk it up. But uh, my e-bike has a, uh, a thing where it has like a walk mode where it just uh, accounts for the weight of the bike. So basically, I'm just walking up this thing. Um, still going to be hard, though. There we go. Much better. What is that? See that like fence? Let's go see what it is. I think this is a grave or something. Oh, there's a, there's a bottle over there. Oh, I bet this was a grave, huh? Yeah, probably a grave, huh? What do you guys think? All right, let's do this. This cactus is massive. What is it called? Saguaro? 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 <laughs> I can't. I know it's not Saguaro, Saguaro. Or maybe. Look how tall this thing is. I'm gonna give it a big hug. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh yeah, that would hurt. That would feel good. Huh. Man, those things are tall. Probably about 20 something feet tall, 20 feet. Oh man, I'll go down this thing. Didn't realize it'd be going down this much, which means I'll be have to, have to be hiking back up the thing to get up there. 
Still having fun now. <laughs> this is really fun. Love all these cactuses, 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 cacti. Just beautiful. There's no one out here, like always. Oh, that's cool. All right, so <laughs> it's, it's the top of that thing. So, um, I don't know where to go. Um, this wash looks kind of, uh, looks pretty scary that way. Um, I might go up here because I think the trail curves in a little bit and then goes back over there somewhere. And that's where I might hike up there. Oh my gosh. Why am I doing this? What do you think? Does this look modern to you? I think so. Look, this is like the even fireplace. Plus there's like just tons of uh, cans and, and trash and things. So it looks like it's a little cabin. So the good news is it's just on top of that thing. And the bad news is it's just on top of that thing. And there's cows everywhere. So, <laughs> and these are all thorn bush things. Oh, these ones aren't. As strange as it, is, as it may sound, having cows nearby is kind of comforting, you know? Because it's like, I don't know if there's bears and cougars, they're going to eat them. Just kidding. I'm always going to need to be prepared, right? But just having cows around just makes you feel a little bit better about being way out here. I'm not even that far out here, to be honest. But anyway, I'm trying to find a way across this creek bed over here. I'm just following these uh, cow trails. Following this, wherever this one went. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, go over here and then up that way. Oh, look. Look at this nice little trail these cows made. Wow, look at these layers. Look at these sandwich layers. Man, there's thousands and thousands of layers here. Oh, oh. Spikes. These are all spike trees. Spike bushes. See the little spikes? Ouchie. Be careful. Uh, man, if a cow went through that, look up there. Back scratched, big time. Did I already say thank you for joining me on this trip? If not, thank you for joining me. It really does mean so much to me. Like, really though, I, li I like think about, like when I'm planning these trips, I always think like, what is everybody gonna like, you know? <laughs> and I hope you like this one. So it just looks like a big fortress. I hope you're enjoying this adventure so far, even though it's just me breathing and biking and getting scraped up. This is part of the fun. For some reason, I'm just really, really loving this one. And I hope you are too. Did I tell you already? It's 70 degrees. 70. Yeah. So I just stopped to take a gander up here. I can see stacked rocks all the way up there. So this is gonna be really cool. <laughs> oh man, can you imagine lugging those rocks up there? So I see this thing. Don't know what it is. I've been following this trail. I don't know if it's a, a cow trail, game trail, hiking trail, <laughs> but it's some sort of trail. Oh, I'm almost there. This is cool. Wow. Man, I am so red. 
I might just uh, hang out here for a while to rest up before I go up there. Do you think I can do that? Do you think I can wait here while I'm, this is right here waiting for us? No, <laughs> I can rest for like a minute and then I'll get up there. How about that? I'm just surprised at how well preserved this is. This is so cool. Those little windows. Oh my gosh. It goes around this entire thing. These windows, these are cool. Wow. See, this stuff's interesting. These bigger rocks, these smaller rocks in between to fill in the gaps. That would make sense. You know, if there's like tons of holes, you don't want any stray arrows come flying in, you know? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. There's my bike down there. Wow, this wall is three, three and a half feet thick. Wow. So the question is, was this just kind of like a last chance stronghold type of a thing? Or was it... Yeah, I don't know. What was it? This would be fairly easy to defend because the entire thing up here is just full of a rock wall. You know what I'm saying? So if you have put people like all around it, you're gonna easily defend. Oh wow, it's like they built up this whole area too. Remember, don't step on the walls. Shaft. Hmm. Okay, this is weird. There's a mine shaft or something. Weird. Like there's another mine right there. Mine shaft. Cool. Oh, so up, this is the wall. Huh. Okay, so there's the middle wall, and I think there's a wall on this edge over here. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? So the walls make me think like this is an ancient site, you know, like 700, 800, 1,000 or more years old. And then the mines are modern, right? The last 100, 150, 200 years? You don't think the miners would do all this stuff around the edges, right? I just can't see miners doing that. <laughs> what do you think though? But it's, it's interesting because this is the center wall. pit. Ooh, what is this place? I mean, look at me. This wall is probably six and a half, six and a half feet tall, seven feet tall. That was a lot of work to do all that.
See, now that makes more sense because do you rem remember the ruins at the very beginning? That's probably some miners' cabins, right? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, good. Trail. I was expecting to find ruins, and I did find ruins, but I found a lot of mines too, so I'm kind of confused. What do you guys think? I am sweaty, red, and ready to get back to my bike so I can get out of here, get some dinner. Let me know what you think in the comments, and thank you for joining me on this seemingly random adventure, and I hope to see you on the next one. Oh, thank you, bike, for not running away. Oh, yeah, so Miner's Cabin. That's what I'm thinking of, but who knows? All right, let's get out of here. I'm ready to be done with this. Ready to eat. I am hungry. Okay, see you on the next adventure.